Hello everyone, uh, this is Gordon Goodluck and I'm a member of the Mevo customer group and today we're going to be discussing um, a few things relevant to Mevo cameras. First off is going to be the Rode Wireless Go. Uh, we're going to also talk about the Mevo Go app, the new app that expands the Mevo mic capability to include video and screen sharing and then also we're going to talk a little bit about stage manager the new feature on iPads and how that's relevant to uh, Mevo multicam and Mevo single camera apps but first let's talk about the Rode Wireless Go Rode Wireless Go consists of a transmitter that has a built-in microphone and you turn these on and it, um, it, there's a receiver that receives the sound and these pair up and you can hear um, you can see the audio on the meters there and so I'm going to um, plug this in you just plug it in directly with a cable and uh, right now you're hearing the camera audio on this camera we're going to uh, plug in the road wireless go and hopefully it's better audio at least louder audio and of course louder is better right um, let's see uh, that's a road wireless go I uh, really love this setup it works uh, you power it up plug it in and You've got great audio. It just works. And so what I've got to here today is um, a new iPad. And um, I got a new one so I could test the new software and keep my old one. And I plan to keep both. So I've got four camera angles here uh, showing stuff living room and a couple of shots of my yard and what I'm going to do um, today is to demonstrate the uh, Mevo Go app and the Mevo Go app is a uh, way to get a phone video the video from the camera in your phone and get it into the uh, Mevo Multicam program. We're going to add it as a source. To do that, first off, we're going to start the app. I'm going to run Mevo Mic. I'm using the test flight program. I guess I should show you test flight. Let's start over. This little blue icon is test flight. And within test flight, you get it to choose the apps that you're testing. I've been testing Mevo Multicam, but I'm also, now I'm testing Mevo Mic, which is what they're calling Mevo Go now. You have three choices. You have audio and video. You have screen sharing, and you have Mevo mic. So I'm going to choose audio and video. And first thing that happens is the camera. It accesses the camera. And so now we've got this camera running on here. We're going to... Um, I got my gimbal here 
to keep the camera steady. Uh, we're going to use this camera as a source. So now that it's running, I'm going to go to the blue button here and go to Add Assets, Cameras, and this says Mevo Go. We'll press Connect. almost forgot there's a bug with the Mevo Go app if you're using the audio um, if you enable it the audio is garbled so what I've been doing is disabling it so part of my video right now is has got garbled audio but <laughs> But since this is like the fourth attempt of me making this video, I think I'm going to just go with what I got. Uh, this is the best one so far. Um, so, uh, yeah, so what, what we've got here is the iPad is running Stage Manager. And Stage Manager is has got multiple windows. And what I've got running is two windows. One is a single camera app. And one is the uh, multicam app. And what I'm going to do is demonstrate the fact that these keep running and the cameras don't disconnect. And so I'm going to disconnect uh, one of these cameras and bring it into the single camera app. So let's pick this one, 22C6B. Let's disconnect that one. And then let's go to the single camera app. And that is eligible to connect right now. See these other ones are saying Mevo is currently in use. Already in use. I'm going to connect. And so we have our shot that's been cropped of... Um, we're in the single camera app. Now I'm going back to the other app. And um, you can switch between apps seamlessly. As you can see, cameras don't disconnect. Like if you were, if they were to disconnect, you'd see a spinning circle. So um, it appears to be working. Let's change our view there. I'm going to disconnect this camera from the single camera app. And now let's add it back. Here we see it as a camera here to be that I can connect. And now we've got all the views. Amazing. Oh yeah, the newer software has another feature too where you can move windows around. So if if I wanted to reorder 
I can well maybe I don't know how to you're supposed to be able to yeah you can just reorder your windows in whatever order you want and you can do that also with graphics and when you're done you just press done reordering and that can put the cameras in whatever order that you want them to be and so um, yeah so uh, this is very going to be very very useful it will be a very handy app so I'm looking forward to using that and doing shooting some music videos and uh, you know expand it gives us a lot of more some extra possibilities um, there's also the screen sharing you can share a screen from your phone um, yesterday I played a video from YouTube um, and that works so um, Yes, and I tried to play an ESPN, <laughs> and I could not, it would not allow me to do that. That's a, that's something you, uh, if you got copyrighted content like that, they don't allow you to do, um, send it anywhere else through HDMI or anything, I think, anyway, but YouTube videos play. So, um, you know, and of course, if you have pictures or anything, you could just pull them up on the screen and it should share them. So, it's a very interesting development that we have here. Looking forward to doing some more. Uh, everything seems to be working pretty well, uh, with the exception for me of the audio from the, the camera which as we determined gives you a garbled sound and uh, so we don't so we don't want that we'd like that to be fixed but anyway um, that's it for now thank you for tuning in and uh, I will probably see you on the next you will see me on the next video whenever that will be uh, hopefully more are coming um, have a good day and thank you again for watching